Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel, Drawing Time with Story. If you are new in my channel, I will introduce myself with you and my channel. I am Suraya Parvin and in my channel, I select an object or a theme to draw and while drawing, I narrate a story or deliver some information related to the object or the theme. As you see, today I am going to show you how to draw a tailor bird's nest with its eggs and I will finally color it and it will turn out really amazing. I think so. So what is your opinion? Let me know in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected with Drawing Time with the Story. Now I will deliver you some information about this beautiful that is known as tailor bird. I will deliver some information about this bird and I took the information from Wikipedia. The common tailor bird is a songbird found across tropical Asia, popular for its nest made of leaves that is swing together and immortalized by Rudyard Kipling in his Jungle Book. It is a common resident in urban gardens. Although shy birds that are usually hidden within vegetation, their loud calls are familiar and give away their presence. They are distinctive in having a long upright tail, greenish upper body plumes, and rust color forehead and crown. This passerine bird is typically found in open farmland, scrub, forest edges, and gardens. Tailor birds get their name from the way their nest is constructed. The edges of a large leaf are pierced and sewn together with plant fiber or spider silk to make a cradle in which the actual nest is built that is absolutely amazing i think um, that's why is uh, the bird is known as tailor bird because it's do an amazing artwork the nest is built in the breeding season breeding season means mating season so the breeding season is march to december Peaking from June to August in India, coinciding with the wet season. In Sri Lanka, the main breeding periods are March to May and August to September, although they can breed throughout the year. Although the name is derived from their nest construction habit, the nest is not unique and is also found in many pinea warblers. The nest is a deep cup lined with soft materials and placed in thick foliage and the leaves holding the nest have the upper surfaces outwards making it difficult to spot. That is called the camouflaging behavior of the birds. Uh, as um, I don't know that uh, you know about me, I am a geologist. I studied geology in Janginogu University. And my favorite subject was ethology. Ethology means animal behavior. I enjoy this subject very, very much. That's why I, uh, while I draw the bird's nest, it's my pleasure. I really enjoy and I am really enjoying to deliver some information about the bird's behavior. Okay, now back to the story. The punctures made on the edges of the leaves are minute and don't cause browning of the leaves, further aiding camouflage. The nest lining of a nest in Sri Lanka that was studied by Cassie Wood was found to be lined with lint from Euphrobia species. Okay? Scientist Wood classified the processes used by the tailor bird in nest as sewing, riveting, lacing, and matting. In some cases, the nest is made from a single large leaf, 
the margins of which are riveted together. Sometimes the fibers from one rivet are extended into an adjoining puncture and appearing more like sewing. The stitch is made by piercing two leaves and drawing fiber through them. The fibers fluff out on the outside and in effect they are more like rivets. There are many variations in the nest and some may altogether lack the cradle of leaves. One observer noted that the birds didn't utilize cotton that was made available while another observer, Edward Hamilton, was able to include them to use artificially supplied cotton. The usual clutch is 3x. The incubation period is about 12 days. Both male and female feed the young and that is most important in human beings also that we need both parents altogether. We need father and mother altogether for the betterment, for the best development of the children. So, mortality of eggs and chicks is high due to predation by rodents, cats, uh, crows, lizards, and other predators. The young birds flees in about 14 days. The female alone incubates according to some sources, while others suggest that both parents incubate. However, both parents take part in feeding and sanitation. The males are said to feed the incubating female an unusual case of a pair of tailor birds adopting chicks in an artificially translocated nest belonging to different pair has been recorded. I hope you enjoyed my narration very much. So don't forget to subscribe my channel to get me 1000 subscribers soon. It's my pleasure to get your suggestions, your comments in my comment section. So if you have any request or any kind of suggestions or opinion, please feel free to comment me. Stay safe, stay healthy.